Welcome to my first installment of Blues Basics. Today's topic is 12 bar blues. We're going to discuss the structure, the basic structure of 12 bar blues, which is a standard form of blues. Um, we're going to discuss the basic structure. We're going to dig into it a little bit. But first, I'll start out with a, an example, a one verse example of a 12 bar blues, and I'm in the key of G. That's one verse of a 12 bar blues and and let me make a disclaimer that there are variations of 12 bar blues there are different types of blues none of these rules are hard and fast I'm just explaining this standard form of blues which is the most common form of blues and it has developed over the past century or so I suppose I'm not going to get into history <clears throat> so first talk about the structure of this this standard form and uh, when we do that we when I say 12 bars it's it's 12 measures okay 12 measures if you studied music you talked about measures and in the standard blues we use a 4-4 beat okay so 4-4 four, four time is 4 beats per measure so when we talk about 12 bar blues we talk about um, four beats in a measure okay four beats in a measure and then there were 12 measures so that's the structure of it four beats in a measure uh, and I'm going to show you now the chord structure of it here you can look at this the chord structure is when I when I talk about the one chord when, when we talk about one chords and four chords if I'm in the key of G G is the key, so that's the one. I'm going to count A, B, C, that's the four. D, that's the five. And one, four, five, if you're playing in C, it's C, F, G. If you're playing in A, it's A, D, E. If you're playing in E, it's E, A, B, etc. In the key of G, it's G, C, and D. And the one, four, five structure is not particular to the blues. It's universal. It's universal across folk music and rock music and, and country music and jazz and even classical it's a it's a standard it's a universal format one four five um, it's where the music wants to go so i'm going to go through and show you where the chords are okay where the one chord is i'm playing in g again so in the first measure it's the one chord in the second measure it's the four chord c and then back to the one chord for two measures, then to the four chord for two measures, then back to the one chord for two measures. Then to the five chord, and the four chord, and then the one chord. And then turn around to the five chord and start again. So that's the 12 measures. <clears throat> the one chord, the four chord, back to the one, then to the four, back to the one, then the five, the four, the one, and then the turnaround. And again, there are variations of this. Some songs might not use the four chord on the second measure. That's the basic form of the blues. Um, now, I want to talk a little bit about... <clears throat> Well, let, let me just give you, before I talk about phrasing, I'll, I'll just give you an example of a of a song, okay? <clears throat> they call me Mr. Easy, but they don't call me that for long. They call me Mr. Easy, but they don't call 
me that for long. When things get complicated, I pack my bags and I'm gone. And just to avoid any copyright issues, I'm just using my own songs in these demonstrations. Um, so that's an example with the phrasing. So now with the phrasing, I want to talk about that because when we look at the 12 bar blues, there are, <clears throat> there are 12 measures with four beats each. Okay, so there are 48 measures all together. And these, these, these 12 measures, these 12 bars are broken up into three equal sections, three equal four measure or four bar sections for rhythm and phrasing purposes, okay? So if you, you may not have noticed, but see where I have the green here? So the, the vocal phrasing takes nine beats, and then there's a seven beat rest, and that's the same throughout the song. So the vocal phrasing, they call me Mr. Easy, but they don't call me that for long, and then seven beats of rest. So that structure, that, that standard form, <clears throat> And again, it's not always that way. We have spoken asides, and sometimes the verse runs over, the line runs over, but um, that lends itself to all the riffing and the fancy little piano parts and guitar parts and saxophone parts that, that jump in when the singer's done with his phrase. Okay, so here I'm going to show you the seven, <clears throat> the seven, the nine beats of vocal phrasing, and then follow it with seven beats of a rest, okay? Uh, I take the whale at four different places And not one of them I call my home That took nine beats Now I got seven beats to goof on I take mail at four different places Not one of them I call my home Now I'm goofing off again for seven beats It's hard to hit a moving target and that's why I love to roll. See? And that's the standard form. You have nine, nine beats to get the vocal line done, and then seven beats to play some riffs. Nine beats to typically repeat that first vocal line. So a typical 12 bar blues song is going to be two lines. Each verse has two lines. The first line repeated, and then the last line is, is unique. So you have the first line. They call me Mr. Easy, but they don't call me that for long. Seven beats of riffs. Repeat. They call me Mr. Easy, but they don't call me that for long. Seven beats of goofing off. And then the punchline when things get complicated, I pack my bags and I'm gone. And the seven beats to cover the turnaround with some riffs and then start over. So that's that's the basic structure of the 12 bar blues. Um, I'm trying to keep these <coughs> these demonstrations uh, short so that you don't have to devote your day to it. Um, I'm going to close out today with uh, the last verse of this song. And uh, if, you, uh, if you enjoyed this or if you have some suggestions, uh, if, if you want to respond to me and let me know, hey, let's do this again, then I'll do some more of these. Um, but uh, let's see, did I miss anything here? Uh, explain the structure and the layout and the chords. So now we know a little bit about 12 Bar Blues. So thanks for tuning in. And uh, I'm going to finish with the last verse when things get complicated and you can't bear your have a load when things get complicated and you can't bear that heavy load take a tip from Mr. Easy Pack your bags, get on down the road
Thanks for listening.